Oh, is this her? <gasps> I have watched her. Okay, yeah, I have watched yeah. her videos. Okay. Isn't that funny? And it didn't didn't Pearl do a video where like on her one of her whiteboard videos was like top five red flags oh, chest tattoos. for women you don't want to date. And and <sighs> one of them was a chest tattoo. And here we have this girl has oh, a big old chest shit. tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> that would be I interesting was... for them to have a debate, but I don't think Pearl would do this. I don't know. No, I think this woman would eat her alive. Probably. Based on this tattoo alone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Men are not safe. They're not safe from the suicide rate, their ex-wives. They're not even safe at their safe place, the gym. This week, I have a handful of new gym Karens who moisten their panties every time they think that they have an opportunity to paint them. I love her editing. Now, I'm not saying that the gym is, like, only for men and women can't go to the... Tons of women go to the gym. But more men go to the gym than women do. So mm. I think, naturally, we should just give men their own space and just create, like, women-only gyms and men-only gyms. Yeah! Yeah, that's men true. Are really mm -hmm. tired of there are. I no think men gym. would appreciate a man only gym. There I think are. So they, they can just bro out. There yeah, lots of perv guys that gay. go there for that specifically, but because I think right. men are yeah, like I was just don't want to deal with. They don't like I mean, it's it's you know, hmm. men are not. You're not a statue. If you see like a hot woman in a like a hot gym outfit, you're not gonna. Mm -hmm. Not look, not I mean, look at her. <laughs> distracting, and they uh, probably some men just want to like get in, get out, and they don't want to have to deal with. Well, yeah, like I it's mean, the same reason why we have like single sex to the gym. I don't know why you'd want to dress like like you're going to a club. I wear a t-shirt and baggy ass pants, and like I don't know. Yeah, I that's the one thing I always was so confused about when you wear like the booty shorts and the bra tops yeah and you i would sit never on the chairs that. and you're putting your skin against like yeah. gross chemicals and sweat. i don't want my legs touching those fucking machines no, yeah. thank you. <laughs> like uh-uh I'm going to play a little more of this, see if it's anything. Having to walk on eggshells around the place that's supposed to relieve the most stress. That's like their second safe place. And if you have a bitchy wife at home, it's kind of their first. This is the definition <laughs> of man spreading. Feminists often argue that this is just men's way of taking up more space. But this first woman, I think, has defined perfectly woman spreading. Taking up more space. Okay, I get the gist. She seems fun. She seems like simp cast. Very entertaining. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody who's like passionate um, about their beliefs and, and can make a point is like someone that I would be interested in talking to. She definitely seems like she believes it. Like she doesn't yeah. seem like she's just talking shit for no reason. It's so interesting, Leanne. Like you're saying, I wear sweatpants to gym, and I'm thinking, like, I don't. I definitely wear like yoga, like yoga pants, like tighter, whatever. Yeah, pants. but there's nothing and then, wrong like, with yoga bra pants. With, like, the top. But here, maybe this is a cope, but like as someone who has like lost a little bit of weight recently and has been trying to like work harder at the gym the last like year or so, it's like I actually want to see progress and it's like I, I use it to like look at myself and be like, okay, what's starting to tone up? What's starting to look soft? Like where am I at? You know, but I've seen your videos. Yeah. You're not yeah, dressed, you're dressed like fine. what I'm talking about. Like no. these girls have on like cutout right. things. Like it's just and very also, provocative gym to, clothes. And then they're like bending down in front of the dude while he's like uh, on the machine. Little, little shorts. Like you got to do pants or like long bike shorts. Right. Yeah. And, but uh, I see girls with like teeny pants. tiny like bikini size tops running yeah. on the treadmill. Yeah. Like, how are your tits even staying yeah. in that while you're running nine miles? Not <laughs> no, like, they don't they're understand. Like them, they're just like, they'll, fly like out. I'll be like, oh, you must not have boobs. And then they turn around like, holy crap, how are your boobs not just like out <laughs> and, like bouncing all over the place? Like, I can't like. When I'm at the gym, I want my boobs to be like squished as tight as yeah. possible. Because it, for me, like it hurts to run on a treadmill. If they're yeah, I don't want to have no baby watching. I don't want to. I'm do trying that. to fucking work out. Not oh my god, you guys are gonna love this. Okay, I just found this. Of course, from the Sun. I think the Sun is like a UK. Uh, that's a bit much. No this sweat. I wear my bikini top to the gym, and I'm never going back. This, this is a surprising upside. No. 
uh, other women should do the same. Oh, just a little video. I'm oh, also all for women like wearing what makes them comfortable. I get it, but at the same time, I'm also kind of with like not having your skin all over the gym oh, equipment. Yeah. That's Gross. how you get ringworm. Ugh. Ringworm. Yeah. Okay, but why? That doesn't hold your stuff down. Well, sneakers doesn't have like a huge amount, I suppose. I don't, there's no support. Whatever. There's Maybe like, yeah, there's like some support, but or something. Is that why? Oh, yeah, I don't she's understand. She's probably why. not, but she's probably not like running or doing cardio in that. Like, like our but, men, whatever. are men shirtless at the gym? Because if there's if men being shirtless no. at the gym is a norm, then this could be a norm. But I don't think they're. No, you're really are. supposed to wear clothes at the gym. You're not. Men aren't really allowed to be shirtless. I don't think. Like that's no, too much. not typically. And like tights are different. Tights make sense because I actually stopped wearing sweatpants to the gym because I got my sweatpants caught on a like a weight thing uh -oh. once that like yanked them almost down. And I was like, oh God. Um, so so I've stopped since then. Like, no, I mean, like leggings and yoga pants are fine. Because yeah, why would you want your legs touching the machine? Yeah. yeah. Like, but this a bathing suit? Mm. That's when what I'm like, like, okay, but why? Does it do something special? Okay, so this is a, uh, obviously, of course, a TikToker. Who else makes the news? Uh, her name is Andrea Vreyes. And one of her fans noted the obvious benefits. It absorbs the sweat. They have shirts that so do does, that, you know. Go so do sports bras. <laughs> yes. What? What is a cotton t-shirt? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's why I was like, Why? She's got over 28,000 likes on her TikTok. She asserted her remit on her platform to be all about fitness and lifestyle. Her ripping mu – well, that's a that's an exaggeration. Her ripping muscles are a testament to her dedication. Uh, in this post, she introduced her novel gym wear, and she looked super cool. I understand the point of view of, like, uh, I, don't, I can't afford gym clothes, so I'm going to wear a bathing suit, but then wear, like, a tank top over it. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm. She wore a green strapless bikini decorated with white stars. The Orlando native's wardrobe. I'm going to fucking kill these people. Um, for the gym, had a broad <laughs> appeal with her fans. One of the commenters was a convert. I did this the first time. It was a game changer. The concluding commenter didn't have the confidence to wear theirs at the gym. I'm too fat for that, babes. I mean, she definitely has a really nice collarbone and shoulder situation. She but nice she's very you can, fit. You Mm -hmm. You can still see all this if you yeah. do a tank top. And oh, I mean, a bandeau right. is actually cheaper than a bikini top, in my opinion. So, yeah. yeah. Or just even just a sports bra. Just wear a sports bra. And yeah. On Amazon, it's actually not that expensive. Yeah. Again, I think it has to do with your intention. Like, if you... If you're like going to the gym, like you could wear that and just be like on your business working out. Okay, fine. But if you wear that and you're putting out the vibe and you're like looking around and you're dicking around and you're like, you're there to like flirt and get attention and take selfies. Like I would find that irritating. Yeah. You know, or you're waiting to attack yeah. a guy because he looked at you for one second. So you can put him on TikTok and be like, oh my yeah. God. He's I just, at like, me. I actually found one of the videos. That, like if you're okay with me sharing this. Yes, um, please. I heard oh, this. Cervix? Oh, shoot. Dang it. As long as it doesn't have a penis in it. No, no oh. penis. I promise. <laughs> okay. This is a TikTok. This is on Joey Swole's. Who I actually like. I um, love Joey Swole. Yeah. Oh, so. God. Oh, my God. You know, this is what I'm talking this? about. Yeah. yeah. I thought for a second this person was naked. No, sorry, she's not naked. <laughs> Absolutely not. She's not naked. She's but, not yeah. naked. But to me, she looks for a second naked. Oh, yeah. I've seen this video. Yeah. yeah. At the gym. Checks absolutely nothing oh, on his phone. Looks over at me being busy sorting my wrist straps. Oh my god. These fucking Girl. straps taking up too much time. Makes a swift oh return. God. Come on. Come on. Sad lip. So what? So I want to share my perspective on this video. Wow. He came over and said, oh, what does this guy? You? Yeah, what does this guy say? I'm Leo, curious. This gentleman walks up. He's looking for a machine to use. And he asks you, are you using the machine behind you? Why does he do this? Well, maybe some of your stuff is close to that machine. You know, we carry mm -hmm. these big bags, these water jugs, these belts, all this stuff. Maybe some of it is close to the machine. And he just wants to be kind and polite. Also, it looks like he might be new to the gym. He looks lost, confused. He looks like he might be a little bit intimidated. 
It's even to the point where you make fun of him for not knowing the name of the machine. And let me ask you this. If he were to jump on a machine that you were using and he didn't ask you and you caught that on film, would you post that to make fun of him? Yes. Something to think about. You know, it's really sad that you took this interaction and you had to post it and you had to shame this man to make him out to be a gym creep that he's trying to hit on you just for attention and likes. The gym is a shared space. People are going to interact with you. This is harmless. This man asks you a question, you say no, and he moves on. This video never needs to be posted. You need to do better. Mind your own business. <laughs> Honestly, For the real. gym I, I go to is like pretty chill too. Like you, if you're chill, everybody else is chill. Like I remember very recently I was working out. I went to the last bench because the gym gets kind of busy. And uh, this one guy was like sort of walking towards it at the same time. And we like awkwardly looked at each other for a minute and I was like, do you want to just work in? And he was like, yeah, I've got like two sets or whatever. I was like, cool. So we just like chatted while we switched place and worked in and out. And then we, there's like a, a new store opening up and we like talked about that for a while. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to finish my workout. Nice to meet you. And like walked off and I've seen him like twice at the gym and he just kind of does this. And like, that's all it ever is. Like, I don't understand why you have to make something of it so of it it was nothing like i could have been like oh this guy tried to work out with like why it's mm. not most guys aren't like sure there are creeps but a majority Zia, of guys the, aren't the fact that you said work in like just i don't know is a very impressive <laughs> to me. I'm like, Ooh, yeah, I'm like, work what? in that's like a real gym term like zia really goes to like yeah. she goes to a real gym not by like Dude, basically updated like, curves <laughs> Like, ooh, working in. Thanks for making me feel cool. That's very legit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. And it's just part of this larger culture of wimp like a certain type of toxic woman who loves to take a man hostage. Uh, whether it's like socially or yeah, through a video, oh, you're a gym creep, or like, oh, you're not using my pronouns, or like, oh, you yelled at me and I'm equating that to abuse. I don't know. I mean, like it's because it takes away from people who really do suffer abuse or people who really are yeah. truly creeped on yes yeah. which totally does happen yeah. but not every interaction is that that's, so that's the weird down. thing is like a question is deemed as interest sexually right like the man yeah. just asked you one case. thing and it might have been his in, but you can also politely decline. That's okay, yeah. too. Like, I, I right. also don't think it's insane for people to try to go out and meet someone organically. Like, what if he did think you were pretty and he just was, like, trying to initiate conversation? Mm -hmm. All you have to be like is, I'm not interested or I'm taken or whatever it is. And then if he doesn't respect that, then, sure, he's a creep. Mm -hmm. But And this sucks because... I think the gym is a great place to potentially like meet Absolutely. a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And this like, this kind of shit is what will make men never approach a woman in a gym because they're mortified to become a TikTok. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Like what if you meet someone and then you find out, oh my God, we love fitness together. Yay. And then you have like, work out together. Yeah. Like yeah. it would be so cool. And it's someone who obviously takes care of themselves. They have, you know, standards in their life. Like it's not necessarily a bad thing. It only becomes bad if it becomes harassment or like you specifically tell them, no, I'm not interested and they don't listen to you. Then that's a different story. But mm -hmm. uh, they say, hi, relax. Yeah. Jesus. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. God, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.